Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video in this, um, I guess it's a series, but the, all the videos for this particular ensemble. This is the hoop skirt, and I will say out of all the layers that I made for this, this might have been the most intriguing one to put together, just with all the hoop wire and casings and Technically, I guess how little actual sewing was involved compared to the work that was involved in assembling this. So I did use an old bed sheet for this project. Ex I mean, for the bag at the bottom. Obviously, I couldn't use it for the casings for the hoop wire. Um, and then I used it also for the moon pad that's at the top around the waistband. So at this point, I was just sewing all of the bag panels together, and then it will flip to a minute when I will fold it in half after I attach the two ends and make one big loop out of the fabric. And then, then came the process of sewing all of the wire channels in the bottom of the bag itself. So I'm just going through the process of doing all of that here. Here is where I'm sewing the ends together, and this was probably one of the trickier parts. I mean, it wasn't that difficult. I just had to get it to lay flat all the way around the entire um, end, and I had already sewn up the top row except for that opening that you see, so it was just some finagling involved. And then that whole section that's open on the top remains open until all the hoop wire is in place and I'm left according to the instructions a opening all the way down the bag that way um, I could start and get the hoop wire all the way down into the bottom channel and then work my way up. Then the process of marking and measuring all of the channels and sewing them. I don't think I show any of the sewing because that was just a lot of straight seams over and over again around the entirety of the bag, which took a while. Never mind, apparently I did put some of the footage in there. But on to the moon, that will be on the back of the waistband. So this is four layers of fabric, 
and I sewed around the outer edge with um, the wrong sides together and then on with two layers on each side flipped it right side out after I notched the seam because it was a substantial curve and then the process of just doing a whole bunch of different spaced moon seams around it to make it stronger and this is going to attach to the back of the waistband and the um, ribbons that are going to hold the back of the hoop will come off of this And here we begin um, marking the completed moon for where the ribbons came off of it and then sewing it to the waistband so I'm gonna put the waistband around my waist and I mean I guess it's more of a belt but anyway that's waistband for my purposes and then sew it on with several rows of stitching to make sure that it's snug and it doesn't pull off And on to the ribbons. I used just over a whole large roll of this off-white gross grain ribbon. And so just using the measuring guides and then I will, once they're all cut, start pinning them to the moon. And when I do that, I don't know if you'll how well you'll be able to see it, but I do turn under the edges that I sewed to the moon just enough to hide um, the raw edge so that the ribbon doesn't fray and then I used a lot of zigzag stitches and straight stitches combo on the machine to make sure that the ribbons were very snugly on the moon Once these were all attached, then two of the ribbons that went on either side, which I'm starting now, um, these were already sewn, the ones that were on the moon were already sewn on at this point. I skipped past all the sewing. Um, I did these on either side and they're wrapped around the belt or the waistband so that they can slide. So they're wrapped around it and then sewn beneath the waistband. 
so that they can, so it forms a loop and so that they are movable around because those are the ones that are going to be holding the front of the hoop skirt. sewing them all to the bag and lining them up and lining them up again and making sure that they were all in their correct places and if I'm remembering correctly this took me a while because I wanted to make sure that they were correct. Once I was done with all of that, as you can see, I put it up on my dress form and moved the dress form out to my living room because the floor space with this layout in my sewing room did not give me very much floor space. I have since rearranged, but I didn't really have room to do all of the hoops and stuff. And so I inserted a picture of the hoop wire going straight down my hallway and then I moved it and put all, once it was all cut, obviously inserted it in its casing and then sewed it into its hoops or pinned it into its hoops temporarily um, just to make sure that I had them all correct and then began the process of putting them all on the actual hoop skirt and pinning them to the ribbons and making sure they were lined up and um, I think I put the kids to bed one night and my husband and I had something on the TV or maybe we didn't that night, I don't know. He was at least there talking to me and it took a while. And there it is. I did end up making some weights that I put on the front because it kept wanting to ride up and I'm not 100% sure why. I just made some rolled weights that I hand sewed to the front to hold it down and that worked amazingly. So there it is. I will eventually model it, but um, that'll probably be once I finish the outfit and do a, <laughs> there it is all flat, um, do a video where I show getting ready with the whole outfit. Anyway, until the next one, which will be the over petticoat, I ended up not using that under petticoat that you see, and so I don't have a video for it. But I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>